And joining us now on Skype from Tucson, Arizona is Dr. James Wilson. This book, Adrenal Fatigue, the 21st Century Syndrome, has really in the last three weeks become my Bible. And it's changing how I feel very much. Why are the adrenals, James, so essential to good health? Explain, explain how they work. Well, the adrenals are the glands of stress. That was uh, told by Dr. Hans Selye back as early as 1930. And so we're under such a stress in our societies that we have multiple stresses, things we're aware of, stresses we're not aware of, and we simply try to plow through and we take on more and more and more stresses. And society even encourages us to, to take on more and more stresses to where it just is a straw that breaks the camel's back. One more stress, one accident, one more thing, and the adrenals happen to go down. Because they're the glands of stress, they have to try to balance all the stresses, internal, external, thermal, chemical, emotional, psychological, physical, that your body endures. And so it's just too much for some, of the, uh, some people, and the adrenals start to go downhill rapidly. And a lot of people are not even aware of where the adrenals are in the body or what they look like. You described them as little pyramids sitting right on top of the kidneys. That's yeah, the two little glands that sit right over the kidneys, about the size of a large grape. And yet they control so many of our hormonal reactions. How did, you, how did you come to this work? How did you come to realize how crucial they are when, in fact, modern medicine is not really acknowledging what a crucial part they play? Well, let me make a division be between modern medicine and research. Research certainly is recognizing the, the problem with the adrenals and, and stress. That's very well established. It's the medicine, uh, the, the medical part, the active clinical medicine that's not recognizing this importance. How I came about it is my patients taught me. My patients come in and, and they, I had one or two key patients who came into me early in my practice and I did not know what to do with them. So I searched and searched and searched and finally discovered it might possibly their, be their adrenal glands. And then when I started treating their adrenal glands, the best way I knew how, then they started to recover. And it was just really revealing to me and so interesting that I became, oh, I would say a semi-expert in trying to help these people under stress recover and get their life back. And for many of those people, they've gone through a number of different so-called specialists who have, for, for some, told them they have even psychological problems. They're imagining that they are chronically tired. Is that something that's often shown up in your practice? People desperate after being told it's their problem? It's so sad. I wish you could have been a mouse in the corner and listened to what they told me. They'd been to as many as 37 doctors. I had a woman who'd been to 37 doctors. Often they'd been to 15 or 20, and they've been told the most ridiculous things. Uh, it's, a, it's a psychological problem. Uh, you're getting older, what do you expect? It's part of being a woman. Um, here's a tranquilizer. Here's a, a prescription for sleeping. Here's an antidepressant. I've got sick people to treat, get out of my office. You're a hypochondriac. It was just insulting how those poor people had to endure the uneducated ignorance of their doctors spit back at them when they told them what they were suffering from. And take those cases, James, when you got them on the, on the program that you have for adrenal support, did you see big, big shifts pretty quickly in, the, in those sorts of cases? If they have also changed their lifestyle, and make the dietary changes, then usually within three to six weeks, we would see uh, recovery start to happen. Now, that doesn't mean they would be totally rehabilitated. It means they were properly supported to where the dietary supplements were making the difference of di the uh, dietary changes and the sleeping habits, the, the lifestyles, were all working together to help these people get their life back. And we've had them as sick as having to be carried from their bedroom to the bathroom by their father 43-year-old woman I'm thinking of, a physician, and she's back to being totally re uh, rehabilitated, a woman in Australia, in New Zealand, who couldn't dress herself, and her husband cried when she was on the phone one day with him and told her, told him she had been able to dress herself that day. Two years later, she climbed Machu Picchu, so oh. as sick as they are, they can usually get better, and usually it doesn't involve pharmaceuticals. And this applies across the board. We're not just talking women who find having babies or looking after young children or having their menstruation improves because of the thyroids, because of the adrenal and thyroid support that that involves. 
but it also applies to uh, professionals in business, doesn't it, who are exhausted, and even young people, even my son at 18, is responding incredibly to the treatments. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, teenagers drive themselves like crazy. Early university students, it's a real problem. Uh, high school athletes, college athletes, it's a problem. Policemen, caretakers, uh, doctors, lawyers, professional people, uh, self-employed, caretakers, it's all over the place. Just James, it's not something to underestimate either because uh, in your book you say up to 80% of Americans could be suffering from this. That's a huge figure. It is, and that's at some time in their life. You know, some people have adrenal fatigue for a few weeks and then they get over it. But I've had other people, I had one woman, 78 years old, that thinks that she had it from the time she was a very young child, and but she still responded at 78 years old, she still responded to a typical adrenal dietary supplement protocol, the dietary uh, changes and, and the lifestyle changes. So somebody like that might, James, have had great trauma when they're little, might have had uh, great stress, which, which activates that fight or flight response in the body. And that's where the adrenals really do start to work hard, isn't it? That's right, or sometimes even within the mother uh, that, that traumatizes the fetus. Yeah, so it can start fairly early, that's right. So do you find that those sorts of traumas heal and the, the calming effect of these treatments and the lifestyle changes, the better sleep, all of those sorts of, of results happen as, as a result of treating the adrenal fatigue? Yeah, but in, in, that's interesting because in the cases of early childhood trauma, sexual abuse, things like that, I find that it's more the hypothalamus and the hippocampus that are affected that then affect the adrenals. But it doesn't matter because our protocol includes supplementation for the hypothalamus and hippocampus anyway. And so it's the same, same treatment uh, protocol will work with all these people. But yes, there's a very little, little different mechanism with the younger people and with certain uh, conditions. But then we find that they all get better using the same protocol, which is great. It's, it's great for the doctor because he doesn't have to think. He can just more or less say, here's a program and do it. It's going to work with about 80% of the people. And the other 20% is going to have a body burden or there's going to be something that's going to pull down the adrenals and keep them from healing. So it's one of the most effective protocols that someone can use when someone can be profoundly ill and they can become completely recovered and it's fairly simple and in most cases doesn't, uh, doesn't include pharmaceuticals. That's, so that's wonderful. The most exciting. How much power the person has to get themselves well is the most exciting thing as far as I'm concerned. That is a wonderful endorsement. And I'd like to add my endorsement. Your book, Adrenal Fatigue, should be in everybody's home and read by everybody. And more than that, probably read by every doctor because it's extremely well written. Thank you so much, James Wilson. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you, James. My